And finally, number one, would I go any other way, uh, any other place than Victor Wimbignana? Now, listen, Wimby in his opening game, yeah, he didn't look spectacular. Game two looked like the Wimby that I wanted to see. And the reason why I absolutely love this dude, my son and I were watching the NBA draft lottery, me and Beckham, my eight-year-old. And we love LeBron. As you can see, got LeBron. Other way. There you go. LeBron in the background. But we were watching and he said, Dad, why is this a big deal? I said, because whoever gets the number one pick is going to get Wimby. He said, who's Wemby? I said, son, you got to watch this. So we pulled up some YouTube clips. My son Beckham is eight, remember. Watched literally three minutes of Wimby highlights and said, Dad, can he be our next favorite player once LeBron retires? I said, yes, sir. And so watching on Friday, it was some moments like, dude, this dude's got all the skill set. He's going to be great. And then watching him on Sunday, I had a smile. I was watching with my wife. I had a smile from ear to ear. Just loved every second of it. The little turnaround post play, dropping down threes. Late in the game, he missed the one-legged three-pointer, but that's in his arsenal. Getting to the rack, blocking shots, rebounds, runs the floor, dribbles, got the handles. Um, special. Just absolutely special. It warms my heart that this is going to be my, my favorite player with my son for years to come. And I am crowning myself today the number one Spurs fan in the state of South Dakota. My son Beckham is number two. Shout out to Tiny Schefter, Seth Lubers. He's number three. Sorry, dude. You got moved over. Even though you've been a fan since you were a kid, we're taking over the reins. Wimby is our guy.